Hello everyone, this is Beastly Eel, and in today's video we're going to be talking about my predictions for the next death battle. So, the next death battle is between Madara Uchiha, Madara Uchiha, sorry, and Sosuke Aizen from Bleach. Now, these two are both the biggest bads in their universe. Um, the Uchiha, he was able to um, become the Ten-Tail Jinchuriki, um, which increases his power exponentially and just makes him an ultimate badass. Um, with the power of all the, all the five basic releases, along with wood and storm releases as well, wood being a combination of water and earth, and storm being wind and water, um, along with yin-yang releases as well. Being able to do so much damage in a short amount of time, his his eyes are incredible. His Sharingans, uh, which have many different forms, he also has the Renegon, 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 um, which is a powerful thing that allows him to use the abilities of the six paths, um, which also gives him the ability to absorb chakra, perform many different feats that most people would not be able to do um, without able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against some of the greatest of all time, um, being able to defeat Naruto, um, and definitely just a powerhouse in general. I'm able to destroy so much in such little time. And his biggest thing, though, is his illusions he can create with his body, but he also has um, this kind of like bluish... Um, skeleton armor that goes around him he can create, um, which creates a large body, a Suzuki, Suzano, um, which is incredibly powerful and looks like a samurai. Um, master um, technician, master strategist, um, incredible strength. Um, he has incredible abilities nonetheless, a master of multiple types of um, weapons and hand-to-hand -hand combat. And then we have Sasuke Aizen, who is very similar. Um, incredible intelligence, great strategist, tactician, um, excellent keto master, who, which is basically like the chakra of um, soul, soul reapers. He is able to defeat people with just hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's also a master swordsman. Um, his, he's a Hadako master. Um, sorry, he's also super, super fast. He has immeasurable spiritual power. Even at a captain's level, he is significantly stronger than most. Um, he also has a bit strength, which we talked about, and apparently he has immortality to a certain degree, um, which is definitely weird. Um, but we're not quite sure how much of that is, you know, how much of that is factual, meaning how well is he immortal, or is he just able to regenerate himself pretty easily? Now, in this world, um, it's not chakra, they have Zanpakuto's and Keto. Now, his Zanpakuto actually has the ability to control all five senses to the point of misinterpreting another person's form, shape, mass, and feel, um, smell to be an enemy's. An incredible thing. Now, it works only if somebody sees it being released. And then once it's been released, he's able to manipulate them consistently over and over again with ease. Now, where this is going to come down the most is who is the better manipulator. Meaning, who's going to get who in an illusion first? Now, in a fight between Naruto and Ichigo. Naruto destroyed um, Ichigo with ease. Now, Mad Madra Uchiha, Madara Uchiha was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Naruto. Now, that being said, Naruto did not have his other form back then, uh, at that point. But, still being able to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, Naruto was leagues above um, 
I'm sorry, leagues above um, Ichigo. Now, Sosuke Aizen is weaker than um, Ichigo. Now, that being said, it's still going to come down to the illusions. And this is where it's going to be tough because the Zanpakuto, his Zanpakuto can, can do it, but can Madra's eyes avoid being basically fooled? Um, that's going to be the toughest thing, but I'm going to stick with my gut and I'm going to go with Madra Uchiha as the winner of this fight. Um, I believe it's going to have to come down to strength, speed, durability, um, and overall just power in general. And I think the Uchiha has it without a doubt. Um, the only way he's going to lose is because of the Zanpakuto of Sosuke Aizen. But I don't think his Zanpakuto is going to be strong enough to actually do so. But we'll have to wait and see for sure. But I'm sticking with mine and saying Madra Uchiha is going to be the winner of this death battle. Now, let me know in the comments below if you agree with me or not. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. Um, but also, if you disagree, let me know why. Or if you agree, let me know why. Um, I'd be curious to see if you have different reasons than I do. As always, if you like the content you see, please like and subscribe below. Other than that, this is going to be Beast Eel signing out. Have a good night.